Hi, this video is an example on Prentice Rule. Uh, Prentice Rule is very important in terms of clinic. Uh, so this is an example that I made up and that I will solve uh, in this video. So to read up the question, after refraction, an optometrist finds an eyeglass prescription of minus 550 diopters in both eyes. However, a student misreads the pupillary distance, PD, and the patient's eye is decentered 2 millimeters nasally in both eyes. So there's two parts to this question. The first part is, what is the resulting induced prism according to Prentice War? The second part is, what is the induced print prism if the eyeglass prescription is changed to plus 550 in the right eye. So let's go down to this picture, this cartoon. And this cartoon perfectly illustrates my example. So uh, the student misreads the PD, which is the pupillary distance. So the patient's eye is decentered from the optical center. So the optical center I'll mark in the eyeglasses, let's say the optical center is here in red. Let me zoom in a little bit to the patient, uh, to the cartoon's eye. So let's say the optical center is in red. So the patient's eye is decentered about two millimeters, so decentered two millimeters nasally, meaning towards the nose. So over here is the patient's nose. So the eye is decentered two millimeters towards the patient's nose, also known as nasally, two millimeters nasally in both eyes. So this is the right eye, and this is the left eye. So the right eye is the center two millimeters nasally from the optical center. Uh, and in the left eye, same thing. So let's say the optical center is over here, uh, marked out in red. So this patient's eye is decentered two millimeters nasally, meaning closer to the nose, uh, decentered from the optical center. So because of this, there's a prismatic effect. There is induced prisms, and that can cause problems. To calculate the induced prisms, just use Prentice War, which is simply uh, P equals C times F. The P being the prismatic effect, the C being the amount of decentration, and the C is always in centimeters, and the F is the power of the lens. So the amount of decentration is given in millimeters. So you simply convert that to centimeters. So in this case, you have uh, 0.2 centimeters. And as you can remember, in my example, uh, the patient's eyeglass prescription is minus 550. So for now, you can ignore the minus sign. And um, you can see later in the video why you can ignore the minus sign. So this would be just 0.2 centimeters times 550. which comes out to be 1.1 prism diopter. So this is the induced prism for just one eye. However, both eyes are decentered. So now you have to make a decision. Do you add or do you subtract? So you have 1.1 uh, prism diopter in the right eye that's induced because of the mistake the student made, and the 1.1 prism diopter is in the left eye. So what's the total? Do you add them or do you subtract them? The key here is if the lens is minus or positive. So this is where the minus sign comes into play. So remember that it's a minus 550, so it is a minus lens. In a minus lens, you can imagine two prisms stacked like this. So there, here's one prism, 
and here is the other prism. So in a minus lens, the two prisms are stacked at the apex. The apex is right here where the red is. The apex of both prisms are stacked like that. Um, and let me show you this concept. Uh, I have a figure in my textbook that I want to show you. So here's a picture of a positive lens, which is over here. This is a positive lens, A, and B is a minus lens. So you could think of a positive lens as two prisms stacked up base by base, like that. So the base is over here. Two prisms stacked up base by base. A minus lens is two prisms stacked up apex by apex, like that. Right? So when you have a minus lens, you have two prisms stacked up apex by apex. In this case, we're just dealing with the horizontal prisms. I'm ignoring the vertical prisms because um, the, the eye is decentered two millimeters nasally, which I'm assuming there's no vertical components. Right now, we're just dealing with the vertical prisms. So because the eye is decentered, you want to focus on this prism here, this prism, right? So let me outline this prism in a different color. So because the eye is decentered, you want to focus on this prism right here, right? And the base of the prism is right here. This is the base, this is the apex, this is the base, this is the apex. Now, because the base is inwards, towards the nose, this is called base in. So you have 1.1 prism diopters base in, in the right eye. And so similarly, in the left eye, the same thing, uh, with the two prisms stacked apex to apex. And again, you want to focus on this prism. And again, you see that is 1.1 prism diopters base in, because it's base inwards towards the nose. So in the right eye, let me write this down. So it's 1.1 prism diopters base in, in the right eye, and the left eye, 1.1 prism diopters base in, in the left eye. Now, this is an important concept to remember. Because the apex of the prism, let me locate the apex of the prism in both in both eyes. So the apex of the prism is over here and is over here. Uh, let's just redraw this to make it a little bit clearer. So the apex of the prism is here in the right eye and here in the left eye. Because of the apex of the prisms, they're pointing in opposite directions, then you add. You add in this case. I made a video on subtracting and adding prisms. You might want to watch it. I'll provide a link in the upper right hand side of this video. So in this case, you add the two prisms. So the total prism uh, that is induced, the total prismatic effect in this case is 2.2 .2 prism diopters. So you get the, the answer to part A is 2.2 uh, .2 prism diopters base in base in. Now this can cause a problem because the student, because the student misread the pupillary distance, the PD, now there's a prism that's induced. There's 2.2 .2 prism diopters that's induced because misalignment of the PD. That can cause problems. And this, this, this comes from the concept of Prentice War. Now, part B, I changed the power of the right eye to a positive, a positive 550, positive 550 in the right eye. So I want you to try this question. I want you to try part B and see what you come up with. Um, I'll post another video solving part B. Okay, hopefully this helps.